Hello everyone, it's Miss Parks here, just giving you some information about our Senior Modern History courses. Looking forward to seeing some of you in class next year. Hopefully what I talk about in here gives you enough information and piques your interest in this course. Some of you might be wondering what type of course Modern History is. Modern History is a Category A course, which means if you're pursuing a pattern of study to gain an ATAR, that will count for two units towards your ATAR. If you're not intending to follow a pattern of study for an ATAR and you're interested in subjects that will just fill out your pattern of study for Year 11, then of course you can still come and do Modern History. You might be wondering why you should study Modern History. I think you need to choose subjects that you like and you have a strong interest in. There are some very good reasons for choosing to study modern history. In the words of Winston Churchill, who was the Prime Minister of Britain during World War II, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Modern history encourages us to learn about the past and make a better future. Modern history stimulates our curiosity and imagination. It enriches our appreciation of humanity by introducing us to a range of historical developments and experiences that have defined the modern world. It enables you to trace the historical background of contemporary issues and to explore the significance of individuals, events and ideas. It'll make you think critically about the world and it provides a foundation for further study, for the world of work and to be an active and informed citizen and to undertake lifelong learning. In Year 11, the specific subjects cover a wide variety of topics, including a film study, an investigation that looks at Lee, who Lee Harvey Oswald was, case studies on the assassination of the US President John Kennedy, and we'll also look at the creation of South Africa. You'll be required to complete an historical investigation on a modern world issue or a topic of your own choice, and then we'll complete work on imperialism, the spread of European power throughout the world, and we'll finish Year 11 with a study of World War I. The Year 12 course has four topics. The core study, Power and Authority in the Modern World, 1919 to 1946, looks at European dictators after World War I, and the core focus of that topic is Hitler and Nazi Germany. The National Study on Japan addresses the issue of Japan as a growing world power in the years leading up to World War II, and our peace and conflict topic looks at World War II in the Pacific region. The final topic in Year 12 is change in the modern world, and we're gonna be doing the civil rights movement in the USA, which is quite an important issue considering what's been happening in the world of late with race relations. The study of modern history is good for people who are interested in independent thought, questioning and using evidence to support their arguments. These are just some of the career areas that studying modern history could help you with. If you want more specific information or just want to have a chat with me about the course, come and see me in the HISI staff room or email me. My email address is just here.